I think an important part is uh, managing online presence and that involves uh, doing uh, regular reputation, regular online audits. So putting yourself in the shoes of the traveler and going on a discovery journey of what they're finding when they're searching your name, when they're searching your hotel type, and also check out uh, what comes up when they're searching your competitors and make a list of the sites, the things you like to change, look at the top 10 results because very few travelers go beyond that and then make a commitment in 2015 to work through that list one step at a time. Our focus in 2015 is really going to be at one-to-one -one marketing. Uh, in 2014, we spent a lot of resources and time on making our website better, our booking processes, the user flow. Uh, in 2015, we want to make things more personal. So we want to predict um, uh, what's the user next step based on what we know about the user, based on the behavior of the user at that moment. And, you know, we want to make it a better experience that way. Basically, it's coming back to their main assets, and that's the hotel website. Uh, all the hoteliers and, and us as well, we tend to focus on meta search, OTAs, all the revenue management things, all the different things happening out there. But sometimes it's really important to go back one step and consider your own website and say, hey, hold on, potentially we should be working on our, our own website because it's not responsive yet, people don't find the booking engine yet. Even sometimes we, we come across hotels that don't even have a booking engine yet on their website, right? So how do you want to convert all these people, right? And then the next step is, um, okay, you got a website, it's responsive but then it needs to be really easy for people to find their way through the booking process because they visited so many websites before they come across your website and they already know what they want. They want to do a booking, they want to go for a specific package or whatsoever. So just be nice, shiny, visual, make them aware of what you are, uh, what's your key features, and then make it easy for them to book your hotel. As savvy marketers will tell you today, consumers can always read about your features and amenities on your website, but the reality is that's not what they're looking for. They want to learn what the experience will be like, and that isn't accomplished by reading blocks of text. It's achieved through interesting storytelling. So 2015 should be the year to focus on your property story to close the business. Storytelling has always thrived on property, whether it's in the back hallways of a hotel where the employees wander, or the lobby or recreation areas where the guests are. But it hasn't really been until recent years that our digital marketing tools and techniques have evolved to a place where we can really use them to source, curate, publish, and amplify all of the experiences at the hotel. So start by combining all of your media to engage travelers at all phases of their journey and source both professional and social imagery. Optimizing your website and its media will give the mobile or on-the-go consumer a satisfying experience from their phones or tablets. And nothing showcases a hotel's features and amenities and conveys the total hotel experience in a more compelling way than an array of multimedia including photos, virtual tours, and videos. And there are production options for all ranges of your budget, even for video. One thing that hotels should always focus on, and that's hospitality. Um, nothing hotels can do better than provide exceptional guest service and that's what really drives all the important things that a lot of people focus on reviews and all those sorts of things if you want good reviews you provide great great service and that doesn't really matter if you're a, a economy property a luxury hotel large small that's what hotels do best and if they focus on that everything else should really kind of fall into fall into place in my opinion well, the, the consumer behavior I mentioned earlier and the sort of multiplication of distribution and communication channels, which is uh, intensified by the technology and, and social world we live in, is only going to continue growing next year. And uh, I think that in order to remain in a good position to tackle both the hunger of uh, today's travelers for more content and uh, in order to maximize your uh, visibility on all of those distribution and communication channels, um, hotels should focus on investing in a strong content management solution 
that will facilitate both the curation and the distribution of content across uh, all different channels, basically. Hotels should focus on 2015 on creating visually engaging content across all platforms, from brand.com, social media, independent sites, and especially covering mobile technology.